Hey, this is Eric, and welcome to Course Serious. You can log in at CourseSerious.com forward slash login. When you log in, you'll see a dashboard where you can manage your academies. You can either choose an academy to manage, or you can add a new academy. Let's create a new academy. I'll call it Eric's Academy. You can choose a custom subdomain. In this case, we'll just say Eric. The academy icon is optional. I went ahead and created a very basic one. It's just an E with a circle around it. And the academy logo is also optional. I created a very basic one. It just says Eric's Academy with a rectangle around it. You don't have to be a graphic designer to make something like that, and yet it will work perfectly. We'll go ahead and click Submit. And my academy has been created. At the top of the screen, you'll see the name of the academy that you're currently managing. Or you can click on Actions and Manage Academy. Next, let's take a look at the categories. By default, we've created some categories for the instant products that come with your membership. You can also add your own new categories. I'm going to create a new category called Making Money Online. Optionally, I can choose an icon and a thumbnail for the category. I'll go ahead and skip that for now. Each category should have at least one subcategory, so I'm going to go ahead and click Add New Category again. And now I'm going to add the subcategory of Website Building. So the parent will be making money online. Now that I have a category to work with, I'm going to click on Courses. Your membership comes with some courses that are pre-configured to begin selling immediately. For example, if I click on this one here that says Content Marketing Revolution Full Training Guide, I'll view it on the Academy, and you can see it's basically ready to go. You can set your own price and begin selling it right away. That's an instant shortcut to your own library of products that you can begin selling. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a new course. Rather than blitz through with a fake course for this demo, I'm going to go ahead and add a real course, one that I actually sell. It's called the Arbicash course. After giving it a title, you have the option of adding a short description, which I will do. And then you can add a full description. Now, you can be as short or as lengthy as you would like to be. The beauty of this type of e-learning platform is that you don't have to write a full-blown sales letter. You could simply write a short description with a couple of bullet points, and that's often enough to sell your course. I'm going to go ahead and grab just a small amount of content from the original sales letter that I used to sell this course. I'll go ahead and paste that into the description, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a few bullet points as well. And I think that's all I really need in order to sell this course. For the category, I'm going to go ahead and select that one that I just created, Website Building or the Making Money Online category. For the level, I'll leave it at Beginner, and I'll click the Next button. Requirements are optional, but they are basically presented like bullet points. So I'm going to go ahead and say we need an internet connection, and let's say we need a desire to make money online. We'll click Next. The outcomes are also optional. I'm going to go ahead and grab just a few of those bullet points. How to set up a simple website. And how to drive massive page views. How to cash in with affiliate articles. We'll say, and so much more. All right, we'll click the Next. For pricing. You can make it free if you want to use it as a lead building tool, or you can set any price of your choice. Let's say this is a $97 cho uh, course. I'm going to check to give it a discount, and we'll say the discounted price is $77. Next, you have the option of adding a course preview video to your sales page. Videos can be hosted at YouTube, Vimeo, or anywhere you want with a link to the MP4 file on your own website or, say, Amazon S3. I'll go ahead and grab a video that I have on YouTube. Simply copy the link to the video, paste it in. You also have the option of adding a course thumbnail. We'll go ahead and grab this image that I already have for this course. On the next page, you have the option of adding some keywords in a description for SEO purposes. So my keywords might be something like native ads, arbitrage, make money, website. My description might be something like 
a course teaching anyone, including beginners, how to cash in with a very simple website and advertising arbitrage strategy. I'll click Next, and then Publish and Activate. Now I need to add the course itself. So first I'm going to add a section, and we'll just call this the Arbicash Course Modules. You can add unlimited sections and then unlimited lessons or quizzes beneath each of those sections. I'm going to put all of my content within this one section. So I'm going to start by adding a lesson. This is the content of my course, which I have on my computer. The first module is actually a PDF file. So I'm going to select Document, click Next, and the title will be Module 1, The Course. I'm going to browse for that document. You can add a description in the summary if you want to, and then click Add Lesson. Coursera will actually host that document for me, so I don't have to worry about uploading it or protecting it somewhere else. I'll go ahead and add the next lesson. The rest of my course consists of seven bonus components. The first one is an Excel spreadsheet. So again, I'm going to select Document. I'll call it Bonus 1 Campaign Tracking Spreadsheet. We'll say it's a document file, but I've tested this, and you can actually upload Excel spreadsheets as well. I'm going to browse, select my spreadsheet, and upload it. The next component is a daily tracking spreadsheet. So I'll add another lesson. Give it a title, select Document, attach the document, and upload it. My next component is a PDF. So we'll add a lesson, give it a title, select the PDF, and upload it. My next component is a video, which means I need to host it either on YouTube, Vimeo, or upload it anywhere else of my choice. I went ahead and uploaded it to YouTube, set it to unlisted so that people can't find it on YouTube. Now I'm going to go ahead and just grab that YouTube link, add a new lesson, select YouTube video, paste the link, give it a title. For the duration, I'm going to go ahead and say it's one hour long, and then add that video. My next component is another PDF, so we'll add a lesson, select document, give it a title attach the PDF, and upload it. My next component is another video, so I'm going to go back to my YouTube channel, select the next video that I uploaded, copy the link, come back and add another lesson, select YouTube video, paste the URL, give it a title, we'll say this one's an hour long as well, and add the lesson. Finally, my last component is also a YouTube video, So I'm going to grab that link, come back, add the lesson, paste my URL, give it a title. This one's an hour and 45 minutes long, and we'll add that lesson. That's the entire course, so I'm going to go ahead and click Finish and Update. It says Course Updated Successfully. Now under Actions, I can click to view this course on the Academy. And you can see here this course that I managed to set up in a matter of minutes. You have the title, the description, the bullet points, the curriculum, the requirements, and then the description. One thing I should have mentioned when we were writing the description is that that's a complete WYSIWYG editor. So you can also format this text and you can also add your own pictures uh, and videos to this area. Up here at the top, we have the course thumbnail. And if we click to view this video, it'll pull up that preview video that we added from YouTube. Hey friend, Eric here, I hope you... We can see the price that I created was $77, which is discounted from the regular price of 97. And viewers of this site can either add it to their wish list, buy it now, or add it to their cart. You can also, also see that it includes three hours and 45 minutes of on-demand videos, eight lessons, full lifetime access, and they get access on mobile and TV. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like from the customer's perspective when they buy it. First I'm going to go back to our courses and I'm going to edit this course and momentarily make it free. Now you can make any course free for the purpose of simply uh, building a following or building a list. Now if I come back and refresh the page, we'll see that the course is free. I'm going to go ahead and click to get enrolled, sign up, enter my information and click sign up. Now that I'm logged in as a user, I can simply click get enrolled 
And now I'm a member of this course. As a customer, I can then give that course a rating, hopefully five stars out of five, and write a review. I'll click Start Lesson, and it takes us to Module 1, which is that PDF download. If I were to come down to Module 2, it's that Excel spreadsheet download. The videos start in Module 5, so we'll click on that one. And you can see it embeds the video right here in their membership area. If I click back to courses, it takes me back to my customer dashboard where I can see all of the courses that I've either enrolled in or purchased. The other thing I forgot to mention is that your custom subdomain will be consistent throughout the customer's experience. You can see here that the address is eric.courserious.com. That's the custom subdomain that I created when we set up this academy. Going back to your admin dashboard, you can then click on students, and we see the student that just joined this new course. You can also send messages to your students from within this dashboard. Under settings, I want to take a quick look at academy settings. Again, my academy name is Eric's Academy. We'll say start learning with Eric's Academy. We'll just say the author is Eric H. Start learning with Eric's Academy. You can enter your own unique slogan. You can enter your own email there. Optionally, you can enter your address and phone number, which would be displayed at the bottom of the page. Uh, optionally, you can enter a YouTube or Vimeo API key. And then you can enter your own custom footer text and link. I'm gonna say for coaching, go to Inner Profit Circle. That's my coaching club. So I'll go ahead and save this. Now, if we go visit my Academy homepage, we'll find my customized Academy settings along with all of the courses that I currently have available for purchase. You can see the new one that I just added, along with many of the pre-configured courses that I have available. Down here at the bottom, we have my contact information and my custom link. So as you can see, the potential of this is tremendous, and in a matter of minutes, you truly can have your own entire academy on Coursera.